Good morning, guys. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I wanted to give you something that the Lord gave to me. And the word is this. If people do not believe his word, if his children, sometimes we're encouraging people. Sometimes we're pushing people. Sometimes you're grabbing people by the collar, trying to get them into the kingdom. You're doing it with your children. You're doing it with your loved ones. You are arguing and debating with people who may be unsaved people that don't believe in the Bible. They don't believe in God. And you're sitting there having these debates with them. You're sitting here, sitting there having arguments with them. And you're trying to prove God. And you're, you're, you're arguing with them about why God is real. And then they cross-examine you on your testimony and your experiences. And you get into that. God wants us to get out of that. This is a time to focus on the work. It's time for us to focus on the harvest. You know, Jesus said the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few, which means there are people out there that Jesus has, has already prayed for. And I believe Jesus' last prayer was in John chapter 17, if I'm not correct. If I'm right, it should be John, uh, John chapter 17. If it's incorrect, I'll, I'll add it here after I check. But his last prayer was in John chapter 17. And in that scripture, um, he prays the last prayer for us. He prays for those who are, who's going to come to believe. He prayed for them already. He's prepared them. He's prepared their hearts. He set the stage. So we need to go out and get those people that wants God. And it's not that we're being cold and we're neglecting people, but it's time for us to move forward. God wants us to stop looking at, oh, this is my mother. Oh, this is my father. Oh, this is my brother. Oh, this is my sister. This is my grandmother. This is, these are my cousins. Oh, this is a good friend. God wants us to move forward because you're going to find yourself left back with them okay we have to focus on the work of the father what is he telling you to do that you're just not doing the lord is saying you cannot convince people that don't believe the truth number one those who are in sin they're in darkness you continue to let your light shine but it does not mean that you stay back and keep and not do the things of god the second thing is people who know the truth Say, folks, that they know the truth, but they don't, they choose not to believe the truth. They choose not to obey the truth. God is saying, if they don't believe me, you can't do anything for them. If they're not believing my word, they read the word, they see the truth. God is saying he's even spoken to their heart. He says, if I've spoken to them and they're still disobeying me, there's nothing you can do. If I've spoken to their spirit and they're still disobeying me, then there's nothing you can do about it. If I've showed them the way and they're disobeying me, there's nothing you can do for them. Nothing more. And God is calling us to move forward. There are many believers that want to live how they want to live. They don't obey God. They don't obey God in getting out of sexually immoral relationships, sexual immoral trysts. They're not listening to God when he's waking them early to get up to pray. They're not listening to God when, they're, when he's telling him, them that they need to fast. They're not obeying God when he's telling them to read the word. They're not obeying God when he says it's time to forgive. They're not obeying God when he says come out from among them. So therefore they go through certain things and God is saying, stop trying to convince them. If they don't listen to my voice, they do not listen to my words. They do not believe my word. They do not trust me. There's nothing you can do about it. Now, granted, there are believers, we can go through, you're obeying God, you're listening to God, like Job, right? He was doing all the right things, but he was being tested. But when those individuals, when it happens to them, they're going to know, no matter what, 
They will be like Job. They will act in wisdom. They will be like Joseph. No matter what was going on, they're going to act in wisdom and discretion because all the times that they spent in the presence of the Lord prior to things happening, their word intake, their, their time in the presence of the Lord, that is going to rise up in them that even when they're going through things and they feel discouraged, they can still hear the word of the Lord. They can still recall the word and it will sustain them. So that's not what I'm talking about here. The Lord is talking about individuals that are, they're just disobeying God. And I hear God saying, if they're disobeying me and they're not obeying my voice and they're not listening to my voice, they're not going to listen to you because you are not greater. You are not more powerful than the creator, than the almighty God. The Lord wants us to move ahead. He's calling you to move ahead, to do his work to do the things that he has called you to do. It's time to focus on those who are willing and ready to hear your words. All right, guys. Peace out.